Hello, this is Sharif Abuzid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can design a lead generation page for your business. All the tools we'll be using are free of charge, and you can set up this page just right away after you watching this video. So um, this is a, um, a dummy uh, website for a dentist, and you know, um, dentists offer a variety of services. And um, this website has a contact page or a lead generation page where new patients can send their requests. So this lead generation page or contact page, it has a beautifully designed uh, uh, contact form. The, the new patients or the people that want to visit the dentist clinic, they can add their first name, email, phone number, and choose the service that they need, and also send them a message. And then they have like a sort of a testimonial and a couple of images or blocks to show other services that this dentist can uh, do so I'm going to show you how you can do all uh, how can you design this page and by the end of the video there is a bonus tip that uh, you can use to increase the conversion of this lead generation page uh, but first let me show you how you can do this page so let's go to uh, the dashboard of WordPress and to design this page we will be we will need two plugins uh, as I mentioned two free plugins the first one is the Fluent Forms and the second one is the Cadence Blocks to design the page. But actually you need only Fluent Forms and this is necessary for this lead generation page and you can use any other page builder uh, to design the page. You can use Cadence Blocks, Spectra, Generate Press or even Elementor and Thrive Architect and Breeze and all these page builders. So the first plugin is, as I mentioned, is Fluent Forms. You can easily go to Plugins, Add New and you look for fluent forms fluent forms and you know once the plugin appears here this button will be uh, will say install now you click install now and you click activate the plugin and this you will be uh, having the first you will have the first uh, plugin installed i have already installed it and you can see it here in the left um, uh, side menu the second uh, 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 plugin is called cadence blocks cadence blocks uh, let's look for it. This is the uh, the plugin that we are looking for. Again, once for the first, they are installing this for the first time. This button will say install now. You click install now and you click activate, and the plugin will be activated. But as I have already activated the plugin, uh, no need to reactivate it again. So let's try to you know um, create the same uh, page again. So let's create a new page. We we'll go to pages, create and add new, and let's call it a lead generation generation page and click publish and first let's you know add a couple of blocks for this page. let me open the page again let me go to the page this is the contact page <clears throat> so we have a column and um, let's try to get this from the design library Let's see if we can add any blocks from the design library to be added to this uh, page. If we go to the, um, I think the hero part, let's go to the hero section. And let's download which one, let's choose this one. This is a good looking hero section. Okay, so this is the section that we need to design to look the same like this one. So we first we need to change the the background color by going to the row layout. You just can simply can click here and select the row layout and to change the background color you go to style and you change the background color here to be the same as the other one. That's it. And now we need to change the colors also of the text inside the um, the row layout itself. We can select it from here and we change it to white that's it and you know what we can just simply go to the rolly out again and change all the text color under style to be white let's change it to be white and then we go to each section to just remove the custom this is the one remove this and for the button let's just remove it now we need to remove this image. This is a, um, a section background under the section. I know this because when I open the section, it is the the under the background um, um, image. 
which we can find under style we can just you know remove it from here and that's it i mean this is the first section we have for the page of course we can you know change the, the text we just change it to be like this and we can even um, duplicate this part by going to uh, these three dots and copy duplicate and we click update and it's view the page now to see it how it looks like this is how it looks like now we need to add like a couple of other sections let's add this one we go to again we go to the block the um, list view and under the layout we choose to insert um, after and then we go to the design library again let's choose the columns and look for something that we can add let's go with this one yes let's go with this one and now we can change the images let's copy first text we copy this one here then tell I'll make it here and let's add the second one make it here let's copy and paste the usual copy and paste and we can change the images by going and replacing them let's click and replace and go to the media library here you can upload your own images or use the images um, that you currently have and this is was the first image that's it let's do the same with the second one open with the library and let's add the other image it was this image let's click and select let's click select and that's it these these two sections have been designed the um, we need to add a, um, a testimonial because testimonials are very powerful to convert uh, people of this lead generation pages let's again go to design library and go to testimonials to choose one this is the testimonial that we need and now we have added the testimonial let's see it has a different background you know to change the, the testimonial background we need to go to the rolly out and go to style and change it like this and click update let's make a refresh now we have this uh, page almost the same like uh, the original one which is this one but the thing that we are missing is the lead generation form the form itself and for the form we'll be using the fluent forms to design this form so let's go back to the dashboard again we just remove or move um, um, leave this page again and we go to the dashboard and as you can see in the side, left side menu, we go to Fluent Forms and we choose Forms. This will list out all the forms you have, but of course we can just click, we need to click Add New Form. And here you can choose from a, um, um, different types of templates, or even you can import one if you have uh, used another one in another website. You know, Fluent Forms give us, they are very generous when it comes to um forms but i like to form templates but i like to design one uh from scratch so i would just click here and click add new form and use or create new blank form let me just click here and this is the canvas we will be uh, adding or generating our own form so let's go back again the form has a first name an email and the phone number this is very simple and very basic. Now, to have like a first name and an email beside each other in the same row, we have to, or we need to go to container, with advanced field, sorry, container, and use two column containers so we can have a row with two fields. For the first field, we just need the name, we, so we can just copy the name. And for the email address, we just copy the email address and add it to the other field. But as you can see, the first name only is used, no, not the last name. So to be able to use only the first name, we go to the name field again, and we just uncheck the last name and do click the form. Now we have the name and the email address. To add the, um, the phone number, there is a, um, a numeric field. You can just drag and drop it here, be just below the column or the row of the first name and email we change it to be the phone number or we can say add your 
form number you need to ask people to take action inside your forms and all over the copy of your website so this is the phone number now we need to add the drop down list where someone can choose the service they um, need from the dentist dentist so to add this drop down list we go to again to the input fields we choose the drop down and let's just make it here and we change the element label to be choose your service and here we can just say service one of course you can add the service names this one and service two let me collect this one and we just can duplicate this and we say service three and say form now all we are missing is the message and the button itself for so for the message we can use what's called the text area you just drag, drag and drop it like this and you change again the element label we say write your message and here everything is looks fine now for the form we have copied or we can re recreated everything the rest or oh, the one the last um, the one last step is the submit button as you can see this is the color of the submit button the default submit button uh, for the form it doesn't give us options to change the name or, or the change the background style or color of this um, uh, button so we have to go again to input fields and look for custom submit button we copy it and add it here and it will replace sorry let me try again custom let me add it here again oh so it will replace the default one and now we can change the background color to be let's make it dark green and we copy the same rpg and we add it here and that's it now we can change no submit button we can say send or book a meeting book a date an appointment sorry an appointment and this color can be red we can change the uh, button size to be large you know to make it stand out and even we can add you know some um, icons to make this stand out again oh i have just removed it okay this is enough and we click save for now the form itself is you know is ready we need maybe we need to change the name of the form to be a booking form and we click rename so now this form is ready but how we can add it to this page this can be this is the last step we will do you simply go to edit page again and now we need to add it to this place so this is the section you simply go to the plus button and look for fluent forms and drag and drop it here and this is where we need to choose this is a widget or a block relevant to fluent forms here we can choose whatever form we have built before this is the once you click and select the form these are all the forms you have inside this website so we can choose booking form the one that we have designed and we click in update and we go to, again to the lead generation page and refresh and now we have the um, lead generation form maybe we need to make a tweak to look at the, to shrink it down to the center of the the page itself this can be easily done by going again to the page and let's try under the layout and this is the layout here we can align it wide width and click update and let's see and refresh and now this looks beautiful so this is the lead generation page for a dentist and the the bonus tip is that i mean people always uh, maybe when they are reading the lead generation page maybe the phone will ring or something or maybe they hesitant so you have to push them to take the action the action sorry uh, one um, um, example of pushing them to take the action is that maybe you need to repeat this form again in the maybe, maybe this is a long uh, lead generation form and you need to 
page or oh, sorry this is a long lead generation page maybe you need to repeat this form again to repeat it you don't have to redesign it again and you can simply go to this uh, let me open the page itself I would say this is the page so this is the rolly out of, again this is the rolly out you can simply make it like a duplicate and you click in this arrow move up down move down this is the end of the page so now this page has two parts that contains the same lead form you can here just say don't hesitate contact book now and maybe you can add like a like a, another paragraph here let's remove this one don't hesitate book now and we click update and when we refresh the lead generation page now we have the four twice inside the same uh, uh, page so this is how you can design a lead generation page using a free free tools as i mentioned using field forms and using uh, cadence blocks the the link to all these two i mean you can download these tools from the um, uh, plugins repository or repo inside wordpress free of charge and um, hopefully you can do it yourself um, so uh, thanks so much for watching the video if you found it very helpful you can subscribe to the channel because i create similar videos from time to time and actually each uh, every week and please give me a thumbs up to this video so and share it with your all your friends because this will be very helpful for me too. Thank you so much again and see you in the next video. Bye for now.